reassembly. It can be tricky, but it'll go smooth. Nice. I'm gonna patch up the rest of the screws, get all this wiring in place, and then we're gonna air it up and have some fun. Sometimes the wiring can be unruly. Ooh, cricket. This one still lies off. There we go. Hmm, it's so quiet. But that is the sound that it will be making. Okay. Tear this one up. She's good. Worthy. Oops, turn that first. There we go. I hear no leak. Velocity seems low on that one. Because the pressure's low. Cool. Oof, that's definitely the highest pressure. Oh yeah, that's all the way up to 160. I guess we're going to take them out, fire some shots through, just to see what's going on. Don't have my chronograph with me, but I don't need it. Alright, well, the rain hasn't let up, but I'm going to go out here and test this thing anyway. There's another one. Well, that looks like it's pretty close. Right now I'm at uh, about 150 PSI, that seems to be familiar. Okay, here we go with another one. Pretty good, same 150 PSI. Okay, number three. This one's harder to aim, but hopefully this will work. That one seemed a little low. Pressure is at 140. So I'll probably turn that up a little bit. Do that right now. Alright, bump the pressure up to about 155, 160. Hopefully this will get me a couple more feet. Oh, that's much better. Well, that's it for this thing. I got all three of them chronoed approximately using my eyeball. I'll test it out tomorrow when I get my actual chronograph and can buy more paint. Otherwise, these are ready to go.